Okay, so now is the big crunch test. So hey guys, it's Steven here from Talking Point. And welcome to my home. I've got my kids joining me today. Uh, we want to talk about fried chicken. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm 15 years old. Uh, hi, I'm Joshua. I'm 11 years old. So what we want to do today, guys, is find out which brand has the most crunchy chicken. I've got five different brands here. How would you describe your perfect crunchy chicken? Like you're having a birthday. When you get full marks on a test. Uh, for me, the perfect chicken is one that is uh, uh, not too oily, not too greasy. I think it should be crispy enough that when you bite it, and then it explodes in your mouth. And it can't be too dry. It has to be like, that... moist. And... Okay, so now is the big crunch test. Ready? One, two, three. Mmm, it's so good. It's very crispy. It's a lot of flavour. When you first take the first bite, and it satisfies your hunger. Yeah, except that this one is a bit, I find it's also a bit oily. Out of 10, how many points would you give this chicken? Seven. Uh, eight. I give this a five and a half. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the chicken connoisseur. I think it's my chicken. This is like, okay. <laughs> Evolutionarily, all our behaviours are guided to maximise our survival and of course that means that food would play a really important part of that. Crunch would inform our decision as to whether it is fresh or not. The crunchier they are, the, the fresher they are. Let's move on to chicken number two. Your pick, Lucy. Mm, this one. I think it was quite oily. It wasn't as crispy as the other one. When I took into a bite of this, I felt like a whole bunch of oil exploded in my mouth. The crunch was okay, but once I once I had, once I had all that oil in my mouth, I was like, eh, you know, this is not really working for me. Chicken, I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. I'll give it a five as well. And I gave it a four. So this chicken, it's on a chicken run now. Uh -huh. <laughs> To get your chicken crispy, you should actually vary your flour. So plain flour gives it its volume, its bulk and its structure. Whereas the corn flour and rice flour makes everything lighter and gives you more of a good mouth feel when you bite into it. To make it even crispier, I'll usually add baking powder. It's saturated by heat and moisture to expand and give out gas bubbles which will make your coating lighter and also crispier. I've added two egg whites into this and it will give you more crunch and also helps your flour to stick to the chicken better. But if you add the whole egg with the egg yolks, it actually decreases the crunch factor. I've used the rack on top of the paper towel and what this does is that it allows air to circulate and allow, doesn't allow steam to build up in the chicken. And this also contributes to the crunch further. Hmm. Like, it has a little bit more taste. It was really dry and not crispy. Didn't give that full effect. Mm. So I, I would differ from you guys. I think that the meat is the most juicy and moist. But in terms of the crunch, I agree. It has the, the least crunch. But that's what happens when you have uh, less batter on it. It doesn't mean that because you have more batter, you will be better. <laughs> <laughs> Some are better and some are worse. Well, Your jokes are not that great. Really? They are not very cool or they're not... <laughs> but you're, you're laughing inside, right? <laughs> but Josh likes my jokes, I know. <laughs> I'm just laughing at how cringy it is. <laughs> <laughs> so cruel. Instead of flour or your usual traditional breadcrumbs, you can also use oats, especially if you want a gluten-free meal. And you can use nachos. Now you can use nestum. 
as well. Nestum is slightly sweet and very flavoursome. Have to be careful because this will burn a bit easier because of the sugar content. Chicken number four. It's got a good mix between the crunchiness and the juicy moistness of the chicken. If I don't really like it. It's uh, a bit dry and the skin's a little bit soggy. How are you feeling? <laughs> I think you're gonna say I'm gonna I'm feeling chickened out. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with the kids. It is a bit. It's as you. It's almost like the law of diminishing returns. So I'm sick of fried chicken. If I told you now that we're gonna have more fried chicken for dinner, how would you feel? Yeah, uh, actually no, no. I feel like eating a salad or something green or healthy. <laughs> yeah. So there's a little bit of crunch, but not too oily. So, um, yeah, I actually don't mind it. This is a good crunchy level. When we combine crunchiness with salt, that would increase dopamine flow into our brain. Dopamine is what we call happy chemical. Each time you eat, you, are, you have a lot of dopamine. It makes you happy. You're more likely to eat it again. So we tried all five, now I'm going to ask you to rank and tell me which one you think has the best crunch. At the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. KFC. I agree with you. I think KFC has the most crunch. This has been a very unscientific experiment. I mean, it is purely subjective in terms of our own taste preferences. And I must admit that the chicken was also delivered to my home. So it's kind of been sitting around for quite a bit. It's traveled miles in a box and therefore may not be as crunchy as you could get it in the, in the shop. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let us know which you think is your favorite chicken outlet and has the most crunchy chicken. If you disagree with our point of view, let us know as well. Make sure you catch the full episode of Talking Point online. And you can also... Remember to watch more videos on CNA Insider. And remember to hit the subscribe button.